Hello guys and welcome back to Jam Chemistry class and of course in this episode we are going to be looking at the uses of some other bases. In the previous episode, if you have not watched it, go back and watch it. We saw the uses of potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. In this video, however, we are going to see the uses of calcium hydroxide. Alright, we are going to see the uses of ammonia. I am going to see the use of magnesium hydroxide also. Alright, so these are the bases we are going to consider in this video. Alright, so let's quickly start with the first one which is uh, calcium hydroxide. CaOH2 called what? Calcium hydroxide. Alright, it's an H not a B. Okay, and it's also called slaked lime. It's also called milk of lime. Right? It's also called pickling lime. Pickling lime. Alright, so these are what the uh, names for what? For calcium hydroxide. Also called slaked lime. Also called milk of lime. Right? Also called what? Pickling lime. Alright, now let me quickly see the uses right of this right so number one one of the first uses that what it is used as a flocculant it is used as a flocculant flocculant that is to bind suspended particles suspended particles in water in water to form a to form a, to form large particles to assist in their settling or easy remover right it's fine fine uses in sewages this use uh, like in like in sewages and water treatment. I guess that makes makes sense, right? That's why I had to what, uh, add this to it so that you understand fully. So it is used as a flocculant, right? It is to bind suspended particles in water to form large water particles, right? Little little suspended particles here and there in water, right? So once you what uh, add what calcium hydroxide to what to that what water, it's what to bind those particles together. So that it is easy for it for it to be, to be removed, right? So it is used to bind suspended particles in water to form large particles to assist in their settling. So once calcium hydroxide is added to that kind of water, it what it, they will settle down and they will work, they will come together. So uh, uh, in their settling or easy water remover. So now it is using what in sewages and what and water treatment. You want to treat water uh, that has so many dirty particles, right? Once you add calcium hydroxide to it, you see that they settle down easily, and they what they will, it will bind what those particles together, and you can easily what remove them easily. All right, so that is what one of the what uses of what of calcium hydroxide. So it is used as a flocculant, and of course, it's used to bind suspended particles together to. Uh, to assist in their settling and easy removal. It's also used to produce sodium hydroxide in the paper industry. But two, it is used to produce sodium hydroxide. Let me just say NaOH, NaOH in the paper industry. All right, so. What or have Ella said that so the majority is what is used what in wood popping, right? It's used for wood popping in the manufacture of paper. So sodium uh, uh, calcium hydroxide is used in the production of what sodium hydroxide in the paper what industry. All right. So that is one of the application, right? One of the what usefulness of uh, calcium hydroxide is used to produce sodium hydroxide in the industry. It is also an ingredient in each. Uh, it is also. An ingredient, ingredient this is also an ingredient in each of whitewash, mortar, and plaster. So, calcium hydroxide is an ingredient in what? In whitewash, mortar, and what? And plaster. All this one that is for what? For building. 
either for finishing or for what uh, for other what purposes all right so it's an ingredient what in each of what whitewash mortar uh plaster it's also used as lime water for detecting co2 in the laboratory it is used as lime water it is used as lime water to detect co2 in the laboratory laboratory all right so it is was used as what as lime water to detect what co2 that's carbon four oxide in the laboratory so it finds application there in the world in the laboratory it's also used as a chemical uh, depleting agent it is used as a chemical depilating agents these chemical depilating agents are agents or chemical ingredients added to cosmetics cosmetics to remove unwanted hairs all right so i say it is used as what as a chemical depilating agent they are agents or chemical ingredients this depleted agents the agents or chemical what ingredients that are added to what to cosmetics to remove unwanted hairs found in what mostly what found what in most hair uh in most hair remover creams right so you see most hair remover creams if you if cap, uh, calcium hydroxide is usually, usually a component of what of it so it is used as a chemical depleting agent or uh, that is chemical what ingredient added to cosmetic to remove what unwanted hairs found it is found in most hair remover creams all right so these are what the uses of what of calcium hydroxide also in uh, um in agriculture calcium hydroxide finds what application it is used to neutralize acidic soils right it is used to neutralize in agriculture no matter it is used to neutralize acidic soils so these are the uses of what of calcium hydroxide right also called calcium hydroxide slake lime mic of lime pickling lime like i said use it this is as a flocculant right to bind suspended particles to work together so they are easy water remover all right using sewages and water treatment also it is used to produce sodium hydroxide in the paper industry and it is also useful as an ingredient in each of whitewash mortar and plaster right for it is used as lime water to detect co2 when in the laboratory you want to detect co2 you have calcium hydroxide you can what use what calcium hydroxide to detect what as co2 then it is used as a chemical depleting agent agent or chemical ingredient added to cosmetics right to what to remove what unwanted what hairs they are found in what most hair remover creams then also in agriculture it finds its use uh to what neutralize what in neutralizing acidic or soil soils that are too acidic with a ph uh shows that they are acidic uh uh of course calcium hydroxide can be used to neutralize those soils all right so now that we have seen calcium hydroxide up next we are going to look at the uses of as uh, uh, ammonia nh3 so ammonia nh3 which is also called aqueous ammonia aqueous ammonia is also called hydrogen nitride it's also called azine so anywhere you see nh3 it could, it could be called aqueous ammonia it could be called hydrogen nitride so it could also be called what azine now let's quickly see <laughs> of course ammonia finds its use mostly as fertilizers is used what in the production of what of fertilizers very 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 useful in that regard so let's see number one number one use this now all right so it is useful as number one in the manufacture of fertilizers 
all right so uh that is what one of the major usefulness of what of azine or what uh ammonia right also it's also used in what uh useful in what in bleaching of clothes it is useful in the bleaching in the bleaching of clothes and as a detergent all right so it's also fine application in what in the bleaching of what of clothes and what as a detergent also it can also be used as a stain remover battery it is used as a stain stain s-t-a-i-n as a stain remover especially greasy stains all right so it is used as what as a stain remover especially what greasy stains all those greasy stains right so once you apply what uh ammonia to it what it will what easily wash up what those stains all right so another important use is what is used as an antiseptic it can also be used as a preservative it can both can also use for, for fermentation right it is useful is used for of course uh, used as as an antiseptic now as an antiseptic right as uh, it can also use for for preservation for preservation and for what and fermentation all right so these are what the useful uh, usefulness of what of ammonia right used as an antiseptic for preservation and what and fermentation all right and lastly it's used very important as a refrigerant as a refrigerant all right so it is used as a refrigerant so these are the uses of what of uh, aqueous ammonia or hydrogen nitride or the azine useful in the manufacture of fertilizers very very useful in that regard used in bleaching of clothes and as a detergent and then it is used as stain remover especially greasy stains things that are greasy as also it's also used as an antiseptic for preservation and fermentation and it's used as a refrigerant so now we we'll quickly see the uses of magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide so all right to look at magnesium hydroxide mgoh2 all right it's also called milk of magnesia or magnesis it's also called brucite b-r-o-u-c-i-t-e so these are the other names for what for magnesium hydroxide called make of magnesia or make of magnesis and what brucite all right so uh, uh of course it is useful as a suspension hence that is why we use the name what uh milk of what magnesia so as a suspension use this now one as a suspension right hence the term milk of magnesia all right so as a suspension as a suspension hence the term milk of magnesia that is why what it is given what this other name milk of magnesia it looks it takes what the appearance of milk it has the appearance of milk also it is used in the manufacture of antacids and laxatives number two it is used in the manufacture of many antacids antacids and laxatives when you are having a hard time going to the toilet that is for constipation constipation for constipation and heartburn all right so it is used in the manufacture of what of many antacids and what laxatives right it's used in the manufacture of antacids and laxatives antacids first of all used to reduce stomach acidic 
sometimes you hear that people say ah my stomach is too acidic i need to go to the to, i need to go to the chemist or to the pharmacy to get a drug right so um magnesium hydroxide that is what very useful in the manufacture of what those antacids and what are lazity like i said antacids is to reduce stomach acidity so if your, if your stomach is too acidic you take what an antacid all right an antiacid like an antiacid antacid to reduce stomach acidity while lazatives in on the other hand are to what to empty your bowels your bowels if you're having a nice a, a hard time going to the toilet you can know you can know what a, a, um, if i go to the toilet nothing they come out all right so what you do you go you get a what a lazative right and then you will just want to empty your boy so uh magnesium hydroxide is useful in the manufacture of antacids and of course uh lazatives all right so it's also used in the manufacture of toothpaste battery it is used in the manufacture of toothpaste so magnesium hydroxide is a very very wonderful component it's a useful component in what in the manufacture of, of toothpaste all right so it's also used for the partial treatment of dandruff number four is used for the partial treatment of dandruff all right so if you have dandruff right of course you can you can use what make of magnesis or make of magnesia to what to reduce it what partially right so it's used for the partial treatment of what of dandruff and again magnesium hydroxide has what to call smoke reducing right smoke reducing or fire retarding ability that means that right, it can what it can reduce what smoke right and it can what reduce what fire fire so one uh, is that exactly why they are using what in uh, roofings right and in coatings right so that in a house now in the roof uh, if 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 you're, if you're using a roof that does that does not have that kind of ability once there's any fire incident the house what we all would pick to catch fire immediately but of course uh uh um magnesium hydroxide has what you call let me see it, number five now it has smoke retarding and fire reducing abilities right hence used hence it is used for roofings for making roofs or or for what of course or coating all right so it has what smoke retarding what and fire reducing abilities so because of that it's used for what for making what roofs or what for coating what uh, uh substances all right now lastly it's also used for, for reducing what for neutralizing acidic acidic wastewater it is used for neutralizing acidic waste water all right so these are what the uses of what of milk of magnesia or brucite right as a suspension it has the appearance of milk it has the appearance of milk as a suspension that is why it is called milk of magnesia all right and it is used in the manufacture of what antacids and lazatives right in case you're having a hard time going to the toilet take a lazative in case your stomach acidity is high right you can take an antacid all right so it is used in the manufacture of what toothpaste right the tooth the common toothpaste you use right the common one you use then it is used for what for the partial treatment of dandruff and it has smoke retarding and fire reducing ability hence used for what for making roofs and for coatings and of course it's used for neutralizing acidic wastewater if you have not liked this video please what you are doing is wrong give that video a like liking the video would make other students to easily find what this video right if you have not subscribed to this channel that thing you are doing is also wrong please click on that red subscribe button right away so that once you publish a new video you'll be notified on your phone that we have actually what published a new video my name remains so will i be thank god of course i'll see you in the next episode